Flux F550 GS 5021. Show you how to disassemble it and uh, basically change out the seal, change out the stator, which are two rare uh, wear parts for it. So, uh, and then uh, we'll put it back together. So, first thing you have to do is, I'm right handed, so I always put it to my right hand side. And uh, first thing you have to do is loosen up this nut. So you hit that, you unscrew, once you get the nut unscrewed, then you just hold on to the outer tube and pull the inside out of the pump. Then you unscrew your stator. It has an arrow on it that says which way to go. Once you unscrew that, inside is a the Teflon stator. Then you have the outer tube. There's nothing else in here now, just the outer tube. We'll set that out of the way. If you want to change out the um, mechanical seal, We'll show you how to do it. One thing recommended to do that, we have a uh, pin removal tool that you can get from us. It comes with three little pieces you could put, use to take it apart. We'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you do is you slide it into here. Put it by your pin. Well, before I do that, let me show you one thing to remove this. There's a pin that holds it to the shaft. And there's two ends to the pin. It's just basically just like a nail. You have a head and then you have the bottom. So the big difference is at the head, they put three grooves in it, which expands the head. So that's what holds once you press it in it holds the shaft onto the main shaft. So now we could, when you take it out, you have to make sure you take it out from the opposite end of the three slots, which it's a clean end. You set your piece in here, make sure you have the end right the first one you put in is a flat end to push the pin down so it's even with the shaft surface. So you just tighten it down there like that. Once it's down to the shaft surface, then you take that one out, you slide this guy out, you go to the next one, which is a half a pin. You slide that in. And you line it up right with the hole where the pin is and it will start pressing the pin out. You hold that, you tighten it down and it'll push itself into there, start pushing the pin out the other end. Once that bottom's out, bring that one back up. Take that piece out. Then you get the one with the long pin to finish pushing out the pin. Do the same thing, line it back up, bring it down in there, tighten it down. Then after a little bit, you'll hear the pin drop out. Once it's all the way down and it starts getting lighter, the pin just dropped out. Bring it all the way back up. Once you have that, then you remove this guy and the, the shaft will come off. And also, here is the pin. And if you notice, 
I'm not sure you could see three little notches on the end. Mm -hmm. That's the end that when you're putting it back together, you push it in at this end because this end is smooth. There's your pin. Now, if you want to change out the mechanical seal, you have two pieces to the mechanical seal. You have a rotating face, which is this guy. And then you have a stationary face, which is pressed into this seal washer. To change out the seal, you just push in from behind, take that piece out, get your new seal. Once you're putting in your new seal back in your stationary face, you notice there's notches. Inside here, there is a little tiny pin that you have to line up one of the notches with that to keep this from spinning. So you basically put this in here, make sure it's lined up with a slot, and then you just press it back in. It's lined up with the pin, and you put it back here. Then with your mechanical seal, this is your other part. Make sure this spring is in this, the little slot that keeps, makes it turn. You slide it back on gently. Once you have that done, if you notice, there's your holes for your pin to go through. So once you get everything back together, you make sure you keep this guy handy. And you find your holes. You line up. line up your holes and get this piece and put it in so it it'll snap in there it'll keep your shaft from getting out of sync so then you lay this guy down and set it on there you want to put the pin back in make sure you're with the three marks on the end are on top that's where you press it in and the smooth one goes in set it in there just tap it a little bit. This way, you could take this piece off, put it back in your removal tool. This is also to press it back on. Set it back in here. Once you have it set in, you go back to your flat piece. This will be used Press it back into place. Like so. Tighten her down. Now your pin is back in place. Now we start putting it back together. You put your stator into your stator housing. Now one thing on putting it in, there's two notches or one notch on the stator. It matches up. There's a little indentation on the stator housing that has to line up because if it doesn't, this sticks up like that and you can't screw it in. So you have to make sure once it lines up with the little indentation, then it'll set all the way down in there. And you could screw it back on. Always screw this back on to your outer tube before you put the inside to it. And grease this lightly too, because they're it's stainless on stainless and it haven't, you know, so it doesn't gall. Once that's done. You just grab your whole piece, slide it back in, tighten the nut back up, and then get your hammer and just secure that down. It's 
ready to go back into service. 